Yeah, John, this uh, is a race we've been looking forward to the entire time that we've been here. Masai Russell has the fastest time, but she doesn't have a title. And I know that's something that really grinds on her because this is her last opportunity to do so. And she'll be in the 400 hurdles later, but this is her baby. This is the one she wants. Well, and she ran the NCAA record here on this track, and she said that race was an absolute blur. It wasn't until she crossed the line and saw the time that she realized that she ran that fast. And here's Aaliyah Armstrong. She got the drop on both of these young ladies at the SEC Championships. Her key to victory today, she needs to get another great start and get the other two to chase her. And not just a drop on them. Aaliyah Armstrong in head-to-head -head matchups with Masai Russell in general, 4-1. to one. And right there, Akira Nugent, a very aggressive hurdle. Look at that look on her face. You know she means business today, but when you talk about Masai Russell, she had a very mental mishap in the semifinals where she almost fell over the second hurdle. She didn't practice any hurdles there before this race. It's a mental game for her, but we are in store for fireworks, guys. And Akira Nugent definitely figures into any type of a team situation where Texas starts to falter. Arkansas needs everything to go perfectly, and they need Texas to falter. They're right next to each other in the middle of the track. Russell in four, Armstrong in five, and Nugent in six. And a good start for Masai Russell, but Armstrong is right there. Russell's already hitting hurdles. It's Armstrong, now here comes Nugent. It's gonna be Nugent. Russell coming back, but it's too late. Akira Nugent wins it. Russell second, Armstrong third. 12-26. Oh, my. Unfortunately, huge tailwind. Plus 3.8 meters per second, almost double the allowable, but who cares? 12-25 it's been corrected to, and 12-32 for Russell. Fastest under any conditions in collegiate history, 12.25. Well, Ali Armstrong had run the fastest under all conditions at the SEC Championships, 12.31, but Akira Nugent, she's been working on her speed all season long. She was fifth in the 100 meters at those SEC Championships, but you can see her had a little bit of a bobble by Masai Russell on that second hurdle yes. again, Robert, and then Aliyah Armstrong, those hurdles come at you so fast. Just that little bit of a mistake, and Akira Nugent took over. Yes, it does. You see there, Masai Russell hit the second hurdle, and it was now a race between Aaliyah Armstrong and Akira Nugent. They all got really good starts, but in these hurdles, you have to make sure you focus on your lane. I talked to you about Akira Nugent's focus before the race. She could feel her opponent's falter, and she knew all I got to do is get to this line, and you see the emotion afterwards. What an amazing race. Well, but in these hurdles, what happens when you run faster than you've ever run before, then the hurdles come at you faster, and you're just not used to the speed. You talked to Joanna Hayes, the Olympic champion, and she said getting used to that hurdle, coming at you faster than ever before, you just you have to go somewhere else mentally, and Akira Nugent, she made all the right adjustments, came out with the victory. Nugent with 12.25. Armstrong had her bobble on five. Russell had her bobble on two. Akira Nugent didn't have any bobbles, and she's downstairs with John. Uh, no bobbles and really not much time. 12.25, fastest all time under all conditions here in the college ranks. Uh, I could go on and on about how fantastic it is. How fantastic is it for you? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I've been working very hard because last year I was in the stand. I couldn't run. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I hang on to God. I went on a new journey, and I trust the process with my coach and everything. And it has shown that no matter what you're going through, no matter how hurt you are, just trust in God and keep going because he will take you to the line. I know it's hard because A just happened and it only took 12 seconds, but where was the key for you in that race to produce the victory in the time? As I said in my interview, the other day is like, is who is the most focused, who is the most patient, and just stay in your own rhythm, stay in your own lane, and then make the line come to you. And the fact that you had Masai and Ali in that race, how does that help push you to where you are? Those are very two fantastic young ladies we have been battling the whole season, and to be honest, having them, it has pushed me a lot in practice and everything. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Listen, you don't need any more than that. 1225 says it all. Congratulations. Let's go get another look at it. I'm sure you want to see it more than once. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes it just takes it, you know, it takes it all out of you.